Hi guys, thank you very much for joining. Welcome back. So I understand that last night's video was a bit complicated, so I'm gonna try and break it down as much as I can here in this video. If you haven't seen last night's video, it's called What I Think Happened Now. It's long, there's a lot of details in there, and it is a bit of a head mess. It's confusing. Okay, first of all, it's really important to realize how much Nichols, Mick and Jack were smuggling in. And it's not just me making this up, okay? It's in the region of 500 grand, okay? 500 grand's worth is around about what they were bringing in from Holland in their endeavors in this drug smuggling business that they have set up, yeah? Without Pat, Tony Craig. This is their little business setup they've got going. And uh, if, if you look, okay, so, so this is Darren Nichols' statement under oath. And he is basically going on about the, the time he met Mick Steele and how Mick Steele encourages him to become a drug smuggler with him. And he talks about times that he went over to Amsterdam, okay? And in this, he's talking about smuggling in amounts that uh, uh, the equate between 250,000 and 500,000 pounds street prices. It's important to get that in street price. One of those trips, look, it says uh, 80,000 pounds. He saw uh, it was English currency. He's already in Amsterdam here. He's with John Stone and he's, he's looking at 80,000 pounds in English currency. Drugs were going to be bought in Gilders, which um, we had to work the exchange rate out on Teletext. Uh, it, it says, look, a second time. I can't remember which port we went to. I brought the tickets with the money from Peter Corey. Uh, I return. I bought a return ticket and they tend to be cheaper than one way. He doesn't actually go on about amounts in this one. But he starts talking about boats and inflatable boats. And then he goes on to well he, he, he talks about how he got paid one or two kilos worth two thousand pound and then he talks about this third time now this third time was uh this time was 125 thousand pound in sterling and this is the one that pat tate's involved in and it's all approximate but he's saying seventy thousand pound was put in from tate and as far as he's aware only tate there was £28,000 from somebody called Gordon Stevens and approximately £14,000 was from Mr. Worms and Mr. Steele, all equating to 125000 Again, it's been mentioned last night, no matter how you cut that, Pat Tate and Tony Tucker, Craig Rolfe have all conjointly put in the most money for this dud cannabis deal. Approximately, all right, you could say two thirds, right? There's 125,000. They've put in approximately 70. So give or take, let's say 80. 80 is about two thirds of 125 ish. They're saying approximately. So let's let's say approximately. It's ish, okay? 70,000 ish. Two thirds ish. It's the bigger amount. That's what I'm trying to say. If you don't understand maths and you're not fully aware of fractions and things it's just because it's the bigger amount it's two-thirds you know breaking up a whole into three parts the bigger amount is two of those parts isn't it two-thirds it's not half it's more than a half it's not quarters I suppose in a way three quarters of that amount is around about 70 80 grand two-thirds exactly the same this isn't a maths lesson though the point is that they're bringing in around about £500,000 worth of draw. Ish. Okay. This that you're seeing on your screen here is an article from a newspaper and it's dated the 3rd of November 1995 where it says £500,000 worth of drugs were dropped from an aeroplane and you may have heard this. It's about uh, 500000 pounds worth of cannabis found in a pond in West Hanningfield by a farmer called Jess Harstrup. 
Now this is considered to be mixed deal because it's from an aircraft around the same time, a couple of months earlier. Mixed deal was actually told off by his uh, by his pilot school, by his flying school. He was bollocked for flying low. He he was in his plane. He was flying low for some reason, and uh, nobody knows why, obviously. But he was, I think he was either disqualified or suspended from flying for a bit. I'm not sure. I The reason I'm saying that is because he started using a boat afterwards. He was using a plane, apparently, at one point. But then he was bollocked for this flying low. After that, he started using an inflatable dinghy. So, putting two and two together there, it would seem that, you know, he's had, he's either had his... Uh, pilot's license disqualified, be suspended from flying for whatever reason, and now he's asked to settle for a, an inflatable dinghy. That's just me speculating, I don't know. But this was considered to be mixed deal. This story was supposed to be mixed deal. It's 500 grand worth of cannabis being mistakenly dropped into a farmer's pond. And look, it's just another point that this is what they're bringing in. This is the amount they're bringing in. 500 grand's worth. Okay, so they all chip in for this. Okay, it's 125,000 pounds. So, because it's 125,000 pounds, I'm estimating and guessing that it's going to be more toward the 500,000 pound mark for this than, uh, a, than an 80 pound load, which was his first. Look, so he's 80,000 pounds. Uh, it doesn't say the amount is actually street price, but eighty thousand pounds was his first deal, his, his first smuggling operation, and obviously that's going to be less, isn't it? That's going to be le it's going to be eighty grand. We're in the region of two hundred and fifty, maybe three hundred, three hundred fifty thousand pounds worth for eighty grand. This time it's one hundred twenty-five, which so we're talking in the region of five hundred thousand. We all know the story now. They went over they got it they picked up the wrong thing they dished it out back in here in Essex it came back and it was shit it was all shit Pat Tate's going mad Darren Nichols is also going mad ish I mean he's he's going mad in his own little way he's he's telling Mick it's not good and you know sort it out Mick saying come and get some more so we went and got some more that turned out to be shit too and Pat wants his money back Pat wants his money back and um, it's basically seen that John Stone here, look, says, no, no, a third of it was good, I'm sure. And, uh, you know, he said, look, so Stone was going to have the whole lot back, yeah, and Steele was going to have the money back. Okay, now to get the money back, they need to go to Amsterdam, right? And they need to go to Amsterdam with this cannabis. Okay, they've got it. They've got some of it. And they have to go back to Amsterdam, okay? John Stone wants it back. We've just learnt that. And to get the money back, Nichols and Mick need to take something over with them. And this is what they take, look. They take 60, th 60 kilos of bad cannabis and he stored it in the car. Right, now there's something that I didn't mention last night or didn't think of last night in last night's video. 60 kilos, look, 60 kilos. Uh, that's about a third of what they fished out of the Ark Pits. They fished out 151 kilos of this, of this drawer, didn't they? Okay. So we're talking like 60 kilos, we're only 10 kilos off a third there. We're talking approximately, aren't we? So 60 kilos is approximately one third of 150. Okay, so you could say that Nichols and Mick have got one third of all of that cannabis in the car with them as they've taken it back to Amsterdam to get their money back. This is what I'm talking about. This is where it gets interesting. This confusing all at the same time. Because remember, Pat's Pat's share is two thirds. They've got two thirds. Pat's share is two thirds of this deal. Okay, sixty kilos is nearly one third. Okay, so look, they've got it here. 
Mick and Nichols have 60 kilos in the back of their car in Amsterdam getting this money back. Pat's share is two thirds, which is missing from this 60 kilos. Does that make sense? Okay, so now they've gone to Amsterdam. Now Mick starts saying that Pat hasn't given any of his back, which by those figures, he, has, he hasn't. He, he's got 60 kilos on him. He's two thirds missing. But look, right there in the same paragraph. Fuck it, we won't give it back. Throw it away. So he's throwing this as well. This 60 kilo is, is going in the bin as well. So overall, they've dumped it all. All of it. Okay, now to John Stone, this 60 kilos is the only bit that they've dumped. It, it, that's the only that's the only bit that, that's the only bad cannabis that they've got you know what i mean so they're saying to john stone that pat hasn't given his any of his cannabis back and he's also saying it seems like he's ripped him off right he ripped john stone off okay so 60 kilos and they fish out 150 kilos from the art pits that they've dumped so there it is, that, that's the proof that Pat did give it back. There was no third missing. They dumped it all and they told John Stone that Pat didn't give it back. And this whole dump that they've dumped, right, this whole load that they've dumped is worth 500 grand, which we find out here. 142,000 grams. 4,700 grams, 4,700 grams, you know, it's uh, approximately 500,000 pounds worth, street price. But Mick and Nichols dumping their 60 kilos is actually making up this 100 and, uh, this 150 kilos. But they've, they, they've blamed Pat for not giving it all back. So Pat, technically, to John Stone, is ripping them off 500 grand's worth of cannabis. And that is, I mean, that's, that's as clear as I can get it, I'm afraid. That's as clear as I can to, to put it forward, as the understanding from where I'm sitting here. There's another bit after that of who, who did it. And, you know... You'll have to just go and look at the video to see that bit. It's just basically saying that Bernie was in Rettendon. In Rettendon, of all the places, of all the tiny, stupid little places in the whole of Essex. Rettendon. He's in Rettendon looking for cannabis. Drop this cannabis that's been dropped in a pond. He's with Tucker and Tate looking for it. Bernie is. And, you know... The, that to me says that that's the reason that the, they were looking for the cannabis. They were looking for that. And it's Nichols who's dumped it. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's dumped it. He knows which lake it is. You know, because Mix told him to do it. So, he's done it. And then it's been arranged for some reason that Tony, Pat and Craig are going to get it. They're going to get shot. For this 500 grand rip-off. And all the other scallywag behaviour they've been getting up to. I mean, it's the Dutch firm, you know what I mean? You don't fuck with the Dutch, you just don't. Not 500 grand's worth. And the reason I'm saying it's Nichols who set it all up. Well, well you could call it a set up, I suppose. Nichols is the only one who says that he was there at that lane. There's no reason for Mick to be there. There's absolutely no reason for Jack to be there. Them, T Tony Pound Craig looking for that 500 grand's worth of gear is ripping the Dutch firm off because they've had their money back. Nichols has to be involved in it because he's the one who's dumped it. You know, there's for, for Tony Pat and Craig to be looking for this cannabis, yeah, um, it would ha it, it would s s state that. They have been told that Darren Nichols has dumped it. Can't be any other way around that. They've been told Darren Nichols dumped it. So that's why they're looking for it now. It's like, it, they, you fucking dumped 500 grand's worth. Yep. Where is it? In Rettington somewhere. 
show me where please meet us here and that's it that's what happened darren nichols takes the gunman up he's with three people that day he's with all of them he's working with them <sighs> i'm still not clear <laughs> anyway um i hope you get the gist of it anyway i you understand what i mean now i hope you do um I'll see you in the next one if there is one. All right, take care, guys.